I'm Rebecca from Unleaf Software and today I'm going to give you one practical way that you can use just-in-time manufacturing for your business. You may know that just-in-time or JIT manufacturing comes from car makers in Japan. It's based on the original 14 rules of the Toyota way and today we're going to focus on one of those rules using pull systems and we're going to show you how to put this into practice. So what does pull production mean? It means you make products and order inventory in response to making sales, literally pulling the work through your production line. And that's a very, very efficient way of manufacturing because you're only spending money on the stock that you need. Let me show you now how that's done using a pretend jam making business that I've set up in my Unleashed account. Okay, we'll start by adding a sales order. I'm doing this one manually. Let's pretend they've just called me to give me their order. You can also have these pulled through automatically from your B2C store or a B2B ordering portal. The product they've requested is a manufactured product that we don't have any ready-made and you don't have stock for. You can see my availability is zero. When I add this order, Anish will tell me that I can't complete the order as I don't have the stock for it. Now being low on stock can seem like a bad thing, but as long as I have suppliers that I trust and deliver on time, it can be a huge advantage. Why? Well remember, my pretend business is over here making jam, which has a really short shelf life. So if I order too much stock in advance, there's a risk that it might go off before we get a chance to sell it. So this is a really efficient way to work. It's not just food manufacturers that use just in time. Warehouse spaces can be really expensive, as are the staff that run them. So using this pool production method is a really great way that smart manufacturers keep costs low. So let's look at how I use the software to pull the sales order through our factory, ordering the stock we need just in time to fulfill our order. You can see the components in this list that I need to order to finish my assembly. I can then create a purchase order for these items directly from this report. You can choose to select components from different suppliers, but for this example, I'm going to order all the items required to finish my assembly from one supplier. My purchase order is now automatically generated with all of the components I need. I then place this order and email it direct to my supplier from within Unleashed. Then I wait for my stock to arrive. Now the great thing here is I've got all the right integrations set up within Unleashed. My sales can come through from my Shopify storefront or my Unleashed B2B portal. And the financials are being sent through to my accounting software, in this case, zero, including the purchase orders that I'm sending off to my suppliers. Anyway, once you have received the stock in your warehouse, we need to confirm this is in Unleashed. So on this screen, I can receive the goods in I'm confirming the stock that arrived is the stock I have ordered. When I click complete, the stock is now in Unleashed and the bill is passed through for me to reconcile in zero. Now, when I go back to the assembly, I have the stock available to complete it. If you batch or serial track, that is the point you would add these to the assembly. When I click complete, the finished item is now in stock ready to complete my sales order. And if I go back to the sales order, I can now ship this item to my customer and complete the order. Again, this will automatically generate an invoice in my accounting package if I've chosen to integrate. So there it is. I hope that's helped you understand how just-in-time manufacturing works. It's basically a way of keeping costs down by keeping your stock on hand low ordering new stock responsively when an incoming sales order pulls production through your factory. Now of course that's just a small part of what Unleash software can do. So if you'd like to see more there's a link here to a webinar which will explain how it works with sales, reporting and warehousing as well as integration with tools such as Xero, Amazon and Shopify as well as many more. But for now thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.